Robin, utterly baffled by credits. Robin, some sort of strange writing has enveloped us. And away they speed in the Batmo- Wait, what the yeah, hell? Yeah, um, uh, Batmobile's getting the ball joints replaced. But hey, this loner 49 Merc is a great ride. And it's black. Actually, it's maroon. But you, but you can't tell. Loner away! Oh, sure, Batman. Just waltz in and take over. Don't mind us. You win everything. They have an ally. An ally who can they assist the them. Robin. It's a good thing that Robin hangs out on the waterfront a lot. He learned it's tough to keep a pirate ship flying for very long. The home of Bruce Wayne. Apparently, he lives with the Bundys. The good evening, Miss Bale. Hello, Alfred. May I take your bat? Hat? Your hat? Sure. Will you go right in? I'll see if he's Batman. I mean, around. I'll, I'll see if Batman's around. Oh, never mind. Miss Vale is here, sir. Uh, you're welcome. Uh, check her coat for change. Don't you ever go anywhere without this camera? Yeah, when I hear gunfire, I head immediately to the nearest window. <laughs> but what? Suppose there is no accident on Harbor Boulevard. Unfortunately, there's at least one every night. Really? Does the road lead into the harbor? Where is it? Sorry, I mean... Where are they? Are any of these moving vehicles anywhere near each other? Find out in the next thrilling installment. Damn it, Robin, I told you, don't ever touch a Batman's radio! Take me home, Carter. Seriously, sir? You made me load the chair in the van, drive across town, now load it back in the van just for this? Ugh, got it worse than Smithers. Toy trains? Get out while you can, this man is an imbecile! Remember, folks, people sat and watched this in a theater. What keeps the machine in operation? Diamonds? No, seriously, what does it run on? Time to call my identical twin brother, Willie Tanner, and see if Alf ate their cat yet. This guy is incredibly cautious with his mask. Okay! It's after uh. all, he got walked in on last week when he was smacking it around. Oh, come on now! Then masturbated in excitement. All right, God. That's the face I make to get people in the next seat to stop talking to me on airplanes. Chuck's Fireplace Secret Passage Installers, where we turn a blind eye to your obvious insane criminal plots. The exciting action scenes. Where are they? Joel Schumacher sitting at home shrieking, See? It could have been worse! There's an explosion of savings at Wholesale Jewelers! Take over. It's like the name of the film, Batman takes, uh, Robin takes over. Go right. oh, sit down on a snow scraper hard, pantless. Bob, your commitment to 420 is starting to affect your work. We all live in a gray submarine. At least we think it's gray. It's hard to tell from this. Gives me a funny feeling cruising in this sub with no crew aboard. Kind of makes me want to this experiment sexually. Yeah. You want to throw a cat poster on the wall or something? This place is depressing. There's a big plane coming in behind us. I can't see slightly to the left. How the hell do you expect me to see behind us? Batman and Robin. Frankly, we've got more hope for this new Aquaman character. Okay, look, all I'm saying is if you'd taken it to the mechanic I recommended, we might not still be in this loner merch. Well, I didn't, Robin. You were right. Is that what you want to hear? Attention all units. Yet another cop has been shot. Turn that off! Dear God, shut up, Robin. A death in the family can't come soon enough. Got wait of terror? Damn my slow reading. Really slow. How will they ever escape? Oh, they use the door. So, balled up in Albuquerque lately? Batman usually leaves the package eyeing to Robin. Remember, in the last episode, Batman took over, so he, he is firmly in charge now. Oh god, I tripped. Oh, I'm so sorry, you guys. I'm so sorry. Complimentary warm hand towels. Where are they? Can you stay back? I'm taking a leak. Hey, I said I'm taking a leak. What the hell? <laughs> wow, who knew Gotham had underground rivers? And they built the airport on top of them. Smart. The cliffs of Gotham. The, the, the city's got it all. Is this the Tunnel of Terror? Or, or a child's bathtub? What? No speak, friend, and enter? A wizard. That scream came from the grounds of Hamill's estate. The one we drove past like 20 seconds ago? Way back there? Seriously, we passed it a long time ago, Batman. Where are you going? So would I, but he still refuses to reveal any of his trade secrets. Wow, actually put the camera to sleep. <laughs> hey, Robin, you getting that? Getting what? Oh, God, really, man? Gee, that is terrible. <laughs> God, peeled back the leather on his seat. Oh, there it is. The Tunnel of Terror. Finally, our story can begin. And, and I mean. Well, Mr. Toad, cut a bitch for stealing his title. 
a while ago we did an entire uh, old bat, pre-war Batman serial. I don't no, know no, if no, it was, it was post-war. It was post-war, like three years after the war. Oh, don't get so fucking technical <laughs> with me. And we thought this would be a nice, high-energy short to go out on. What do you think? We were mistaken about that. <laughs> but, um, um, and you don't need to know anything at all. That's the great part, because the plot moved like molasses. Let's roll Batman's Rollins. Wild Ride. Of course, it begins with the violent death of Batman's parents. Shit. <laughs> Damn it. I think we've been a prisoner in a title sequence, old chum. Holy typography, how do we get out? The only way I can think of is to transition into another scene. Oh my god, I'm driving! Eyes on the road! There's still words in front of us, Batman! Hey, says your name a lot, but not mine. Stop your infernal whining and do something useful, Robin! Eh, I'm bored. I'm really starting to regret dropping out of high school and becoming your fake old son. You made me run around wearing embarrassing underpants and I get beat up a lot. Oh, fine, I'm selling you to Penguin. What? Very nice job, guys. We'll call you if we need you. In a daring attempt to acquire a new explosive, these clowns have early injured themselves. Special... Ow, scrape on my bat, bitch. Ow, scrape on my bat, butt. Ugh, it's a shame that Bob was decapitated, but what are you gonna do? Robin's wild ride indeed. Oh, son of a funny bitch! Oh god, we have to stop! I broke my ankle! Keep rolling! Ow. Oh, finally, some supervillaining. Oh, just more fiddling with nuts. Very interesting. Was it? We grabbed all we could before the. Oh. Oh. Somebody kicked the DVD! It's still faster than David and Hazel. So. <laughs> Dude! Look at that one. Took it right to the Canuck. <laughs> Any questions from the audience about Batman so far? Oh no, we're not going to start this from the beginning. Where are we, Batman? Around the horn one more time. Here we go. They can't see what we're seeing. It's really obscene what's going on here. Oh I've never seen penetration like that in a Batman. Oh, Kevin Murphy. <laughs> wow. Okay. See, that thing's up there, and there's just a lot of us on stage, so they're not related. That was just a joke. We really covered this much material? Yes, we did. Oh, yeah, we're, now, now we're watching it again yeah. in real time. <laughs> and it's really fun, and they're not seeing shit. Before nice. this only seemed like watching people watch movies. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> I made a really funny joke here about his laundry in the backseat. Oh, step on it, Floyd. I'm Floyd the Barber from the Andy Griffith Show. <laughs> We've gone into self-riffing here. I'm not a good premise for a joke. <laughs> yeah, Dad, you were right, told me to get that gas to replace. But phone companies ride my ass for past two bills, so let's just spray some Aquanet on Red there. <laughs> <laughs> Your second well, reading was better. Very interesting. You said that. Grabbed all we could before the Batman showed up. Also, you could have mentioned there were two fucking boxes! Meanwhile, back at the place that should be Wayne Manor, but isn't. Mr. Morton telephoned while you were sleeping. Well, tell him to go to hell! Never mind, it's nothing. I'm not even... Well, go to hell! Yeah, just bring me some prunes and a glass of vinegar. And go to hell! At Rendezvous Way. Which is what now? Applebee's, okay? Rendezvous View is Applebee's. Say it. Be right there. Hope you brought the nipple clamps. And... <laughs> Wait, you're not my hooker. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must go take my vitamins. Your news has upset me greatly. <laughs> Your vitamins? <laughs> All right. Okay. Huh. Stuck here making Batman's dumb vitamins. Already late for my oversized coat-wearing competition. Couldn't we phone Hamill to research plan for Morton's description? It's not that simple. Pretty sure Robin takes an Ambien before every message. Hamill's unexpected. It's a wild ride. Sure, maybe I can help. Hey, wait, why is the engine wearing a little gangster hat? Oh, gangsters! <laughs> if you ask me, there weren't nearly enough truck parking shots in the Christopher Nolan Batman series. Did they find the cufflink? You've got to stay tuned. Uh, I can't take it. I need my vitamins. Here in the heart of thriving downtown Gotham City. So. Robin's wild ride is mostly off screen, I take it. <laughs> so much for bad bladder control! At this theater next week. Wait, what part was Robin's wild ride? The gentle turn? Who knows? Please don't show up at the Castro next week unless you're in 1948. Thank you. The world's greatest detective and the boy wonder continue work on their latest paper. Who turned out the lights on the sound stage? Come on, you guys, seriously, we're still in here. Batman and Robin sit in silence, both struggling to ignore the fact that a school bus full of children pointed and laughed and called them panty waves at a stoplight just moments ago. Mm. 
automatic flusher got his cape again. <laughs> that settles Batman. Get Robin. Some pants. Get Robin some pants. He's a grown man. Hey guys, just wondering why I never had a wild ride in the last episode, even though it was called Robin's Wild Ride. I need an adult! Put him in the back. We gotta get out of here. Before a really intimidating hero shows up like Aqualad or Aunt May. Thank goodness I survived. Now Ben Affleck can someday play me in a movie. Oh no, Batman's trapped! Into an unfavorable finance rate on his car payments. <sighs> Morton's inside and so is the wizard. What the hell are your shoes, you idiot? Uh, Ro Robin, why are you taking off your pants? Robin, we don't have our costumes with the... L look, look, Robin, just stop. D just stop. D stop that. Oh, God, Robin, not the underpants, too! Oh, boys. Look! <laughs> I love it when they chase me. Are the wizard's men to escape so easily? Yep. Is Vicky to face some new and unexpected peril? Apparently. Don't miss Robin Rescues Batman, the fifth smashing chapter of Batman and Robin at this theater next week. And yes, the chapter title is a total spoiler. Who cares? You'll come to see it anyway, you dumb rubes. I hate you all. We're, We're done, aren't we? They won't hear any of this. Batman and Robin, the second worst serial after Apple Jacks. <laughs> Three people wrote this, folks. Keep in mind that even Meet the Spartans only needed two writers. Robin rescues Batman, prequel to Batman Retires in Shame. <laughs> By a clever ruse, ruse, the wizard's men learn where Morton, the inventor, has hidden his secret formula. I hope the they ruse does not confuse Batman them. Look! A likely repressed pervert! Brute strength. He nearly dislodged both of their hats. <laughs> he blew a fuse. Such a clever ruse. Come on. Stop buying your clothes at the same store as me. Look at us. Ridiculous. You didn't tangle with that switchboard, did you? No, the iron bar must have caused a short circuit. And how did the back of your cape get burnt? Oh, that was the iron bar, too. I'll start the robot car by remote control. <laughs> their ruse involves robots? That proves the wizard engineered the whole operation. Yeah, we never questioned that, jackass. He's been the only suspect since episode one. What else can I say? You already had your mind made up a defense. Well, well at least the scene has the decency to admit it's contrived. Tweet, tweet, bitch. Robin, look. One of the crooks emptied his hash pipe here. I think some of this stuff is still good to burn. Batman's famous leaping squat. See what happens in Target Robin, chapter six of Batman and Robin at this theater next week. And now Robin will rescue Batman as advertised, right? Go ahead. What a rip-off! Aww. Hey, hey, Batman! Remember when my parents were killed by those two gangsters who wanted to take over the circus we worked for? Since their deaths kind of put a crimp in our whole Flying Grayson's acrobat act, I was wondering if I could live with you and have you raise me as your own? Sure. I will, however, need you to dress up in a garish costume replete with tights that leave nothing to the imagination and punch some guy. Huh, you got it. Also, didn't you just have your 17th birthday? Uh-huh. Well, then why do you look at least 50? You have some kind of aging disease? Well, being a circus acrobat really puts wear and tear on the body. Well, it must. I mean, your face could hold a three-day reign. This place is not safe. Why do we hold all our meetings here, then? You know what? Next time, let's all just agree to meet at our safe hideout rather than the one that's not safe. Oh. We'll drive past the hog farms and sorghum silos of bustling Gotham City. You got another cigarette, Mac? Sorry. This guy only comes one to a pack. Very rare. Contains civet yes. cat poop. Please remember pants this time, Robin. Please remember... He didn't remember pants! Again! It was good shooting, Bruce. You know, this belt buckle isn't very big. And you winged off sure one of my knots. Still, still good still shooting. Oh, shut up or I'll shoot you again! After what oh, I did. Sorry. <laughs> You've made your final mistake, Nolan. What do you mean? I'm replacing you with a sea cucumber and a hat. This is Hulk. Keep Nolan under guard until I can get rid of him. I'm liquidating Evans also. Oh, and definitely I'm take this off speaker so the men I'm betraying won't hear this. That's odd. There's usually a lot more hookers around here. I've, I've heard, I've heard. CO2, known for being a highly visible gas. Finally did it! They targeted me, Robin! What? They, they targeted both of us! We're both in here! Me, Robin, the target! Stop making this about you! For the answers, see The Fatal Blast, Chapter 7 of Batman and Robin, at this theater next week. I was the only target! Shut up, Robin! And, uh, action! Uh, wait, what do we, uh... Um, this is what? just for the credits, guys. Just look threatened. I don't know. Okay, uh, okay look, uh, you're being menaced by an unseen, uh, yeah, menace. Maybe it's the Joker? Shut up, Robin. Uh, okay, good. I don't get paid enough for this stupid Batman cat.
character's going nowhere. Saddled with banana legs here. Hey! Shut up. I could do Batman. Shut up, Shut Robin. up, Robin. A fatal blast approved by the Milk Producers Association of Arkansas. Read through this. I had them all along, but wanted to wait until we suffered permanent brain damage. Don't believe everything. Gah! Blam, 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 blam. Click, 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 click. Reload. Blam, 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 blam. Uh, that's right. How about that, Brown? Did... Well, we know how he gets some of his news anyway. By us being morons. I was just beginning to enjoy this. All you've Don't done for seven episodes. Oh, no, I don't, Neil. <laughs> Neil? You and Earl better learn that at once. Earl? I will. <laughs> There's a car coming up behind us. Press him a bad ham. Round the next curve and stop. Will Robin round the next curve and stop? Find out on our next episode. Robin rounds the next curve and stops. Does Bruce Wayne know that you're driving his car? Of course. You know, if I didn't know Bruce Wayne so well, I'd almost think that you and he were the same man. That's absurd. Bruce Wayne's got a but much bigger Johnson than me. You. As soon as I can get to a phone, I'll call Bruce and tell him to come get you. If he smells like freight coal and looks like he just beat up the wizard, that's just the stress of being so well endowed getting to him. Neil to headquarters. Neil calling headquarters. Come in, Neil. Again, this is the Last wizard talking to Neil. Neil. Great, right in the middle of Gotham rush hour traffic. Bruce, you ever think of getting a second car just for the Batman stuff? Not now, Robin. But you are a millionaire, right? We'll talk about this later. Falls like a bat. Batman, how did you get here? Never mind that. Let's get to that cabin. Sure thing, Batman. No, it's Batman. Well, like I said, Batman. No, 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 no. You stay here. I'll check on Robin. You know, on second thought, Robin. I don't know any Robin. Will Robin meet the wizard? Okay, never mind, guess so. Chapter 8 of Batman and Robin at this theater next week. Okay, I gotta go unleash a fatal blast of my own. Goodbye. Robin, you know, it'd be great if you could get to the opening on time at least once. Get off my back. First I'm too slow, then I'm too quick. You're always on the bat rag. God, you're so insecure. My parents were murdered in front of me, you insensitive ass. What does that have to do with it? You were just shameless. And you're fired, okay? Okay, I'm gonna hire that idiot Bucky away from Captain America, okay? Huh? Fine. 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 You don't get to say fine last, I say fine last. Fine. And learns that the wizard is an old Kansas man himself. Where's the sub tickets? One reason I'm still alive is that I don't ask too many questions. That was good advice when I started at Rift Tracks, too. Thanks, Kevin. Sure. The five million dollars he demands will be thrown from a train at a designated spot. Update. Hundreds right. trampled as all of Gotham rushes to train tracks all over town. Well, is real money going to be delivered to the wizard's men? Try to yes. keep up, Robin. So you were right the there when we made this plan. Well, where do you and I come in on this? We don't. But Batman and Robin will be there when the package is thrown from the train. Yeah, when I said you and I, I obviously meant Batman and Robin. But but thanks for the condescension, ass. Hey, Bruce, is all this necessary? You've probably got five million dollars in your wallet. Uh, Bruce who? I'm Batman. <laughs> Tune in for the next installment, Batman Stains the Grass. Oh, Batman, have some dignity, for God's sake, you're Batman! Man, I hope Gwyneth Paltrow's head is in that box. Ah, so Brad Pitt can open it like the end of the movie Seven. Seven? I've never heard of it. The wizard changed it into an entirely different car! That's wizardy as hell! Follow that car! Oh no, wait, let me rephrase that! Ah! Neil calling headquarters. Neil calling headquarters. Come in, Neil. Neil, everyone. So bored. Wish there was someone to meet here. And now, true to the title, Robin meets the wizard. And in true Robin fashion, he killed him with his fist gun. See the wizard strikes back. Chapter 9 of Batman and Robin at this theater next week. But the wizard did strike back and Robin didn't meet him. And what about Gabe? So, uh, Batman? Yes, Robin? So according to Wikipedia, those wearing the mask of Robin have included Dick Grayson, Jason Todd, Tim Drake, Carrie, the list goes on and on. I just want to know what happened to all those other Robins. No, just sign the damn release forms, will ya? <laughs> Sam Katzman, widely considered the Orson Welles of stories about diamond-powered remote control magnetic science weapons. Sorcerer in a black mask and cape striking back? Never heard of that before. That man has made the money radioactive. Enabling him to trace it to a warehouse. And later to a cancer ward. Hey, pointy ears, this is for Batman forever. This is for Jim Carrey as the Riddler. What started the fire? 
The radioactive money burst into flame. What? You know, made me carry that stuff in my shorts. Oh, Either of those men could be the wizard. Yeah, but so could Professor Hamill. He invented the machine that caused all the trouble. But he's a wheelchair invalid. And you're a pantsless man, boy. None of us is perfect. I'll prove to him that I'm ready to strike back. Oh, so the episode should have been called The Wizard Sets Out to Establish His Striking Back Bona Fide. Uh, must be running Windows 8. His head's all right, he just doesn't use it enough. Hey, keep it clean, lady. Come on. Ow, my good wank and wrist. <laughs> oh, you broke my nose again. Sorry, Robin. Did you ever meet the wizard? No, at uh, first I took my orders from a man named Nolan. Afterwards was a man named Neil. Neil, yeah. Yeah, he's no Gabe, well, but he's good. Go ahead, sis. I'll hang around here. I'll be right back. Take your time. Uh, don't stay too long in the enlarging room. Last time you came back the size of a buffalo. Synthetic diamonds are a made-up girl's best friend. Yeah, Robin's girlfriend loves them. She lives in Canada. You wouldn't know her. The teeming urban jungle that is Gotham City. A sad car for Batman and Robin, but you should see Green Arrow's vehicle. Just a bunch of milk crates with wheels nailed on it. Stand by. A little bit of evil doing in my life. A little bit of mayhem, some might die. This ought to be good. That's what he says every time they go to Olive Garden. Always oh, wrong. What bold move of the wizards is this? Knocking someone That's out with a folded newspaper? There. See the plot unfold further in Batman's Last Chance. Chapter 10 of Batman and Robin. Chapter 10 of 87. We switched costumes for this one. Shh, up in. House Peters is kind of funny. Like, whoa, is it a man or a house? Mike Peters? What is this? A, a bunch of the uh, of the dad from Family Guy? Mike, it's okay. <laughs> it's funny. It's a funny name. House Peters. Oh, God, there's still five more of these. I assume Robin, has had his traditional Novocaine injection directly into his tongue. I don't know. It's no problem, John Batman. Spencer Bennett. I showed up expecting to direct a bowling alley safety video. Never fear, Batman has plenty of community chest left. This ought to be good. Ah, the naive optimism of someone who hasn't seen the first nine episodes. Wait, the Markham building? So this series worried about infringing on its own intellectual property? Go, oh, can't a butler pull a carradine in the broom closet in peace? Yeah, how would the neighbors ever guess Batman and Robin live here? Really sure why he punched Jimmy, but on the other hand, I don't really fault him at all. Come on, give up, Vicky. Of course, they wouldn't lock the reporter in a room with a working phone, or even one that could be uh, very easily repaired after moving a light end table to the side. Oh, come on, thugs! Report to Rendezvous D. Check. And Rendezvous D is the Applebee's, the Applebee's by, the freeway. by the freeway, right? Ah. Oh, sorry. Thought you were Vicky. Must Robin now carry on alone? I hope not. He has the charisma of a boiled turnip. Car. See the startling answers in Robin's Roots, Chapter 11 of Batman and Robin, at this theater next week. And yes, I'm still pronouncing it Roots. Trying to make it my thing. Batman, it's happening again. This is the 11th time. Yes, Boy Wonder. I'm afraid we're stuck in what's known as eternal recurrence. Our minds work. So therefore, our will must also function properly. We simply force ourselves to do something different. Perfect. All right, do something different now. Ah, it didn't work. Oh, God, I'm stuck with you forever. I hate you. I hate you, you insufferable little toady. You think I like it, you drunken, fat, incompetent? What, fat? Me? Yes, fat. Oh, wait, I guess we're fine. The episode is starting. <laughs> <laughs> You're right, I'm an idiot. It's not really you. It, it can't be. It can be, and it is. Get your mask but back on, you moron. Why do I keep you on staff? Vicky's brother? I don't get it. I'll explain later. Explain later? It's three words. You we exchange clothes. Well, there's nothing we can do for him now. Come on, let's go. Unless you want to rifle his pockets for change, you cold-hearted psychopath. I remained motionless, wondering what he was up to. Because that's what Outside, superheroes do. They stick. remain motionless Vicky's while known criminals strip for off their clothes. <laughs> If Jimmy Vale wasn't Batman, then who is? Because Why can't whoever's Batman just, just come out and say, pulling away I'm Batman. Batman. Good day, sir. You may stay to dinner if you wish. <laughs> Wait, no what? Thanks, I, I hate you. Please stay for dinner? He's got to lock up. He's got a dominatrix coming over for an hour of naughty FDR play. You funded the Tennessee Valley Authority? That's overstepping the government's reach, you bad boy.
boy. Oh, yes. Teach my buttocks a new deal. Yeah. Why did we let the guy we were kidnapping drive? Tell Gabe I love him. Just have to tie my shoes. Then I can pull my roost. All right, boys. Bring out the gimp. Ah, uh, gimp's on vacation. Well, bring out Neil, I guess. The good news is the roost is coming up. Meanwhile, Vicky is vomiting after IDing her brother's flattened corpse at the morgue. <laughs> Man, zombie Jimmy Vale is pretty fast for a zombie. Great! Apparently they're confusing as hell! <laughs> wow, more effective than anything the real Batman has done in the whole series. I didn't slug myself! I'm kinky, but not that kinky. What are you doing out here? You're supposed to be inside guarding Bruce Wayne, alias Batman. Wayne's you know I can't see Batman through these holes. I drove through three farmer's way. markets you on the way it. here. At least we've got Bruce Wayne. We'll hold him until... Pause for immediate comeuppance. Wayne got away. It's obvious you're no match for the boy Robin. Leave alone the Batman. The boy oh, Robin? <laughs> Have you I seen him? Pretty see sure him. he's due for his first prostate exam. I'm gonna stop for some scissors to cut your bigger eye hole? No! <laughs> we endangered my elderly butler. He definitely could have died. Boy, it's great to be rich. Speed up. Robin, the kind of sidekick who needs to be told to speed up during a car chase. Car chase. Is Barry Brown searching Commissioner Gordon's desk? Sure looks that way. You can't afford to miss Robin Rides the Wind. Chapter 12 of Batman and Robin at this theater next week. Spoiler, the wind is Robin's tricycle. Good night. That was okay for our first piece, but you really tightened up at some of my suggestions. Well, you threw a black ski mask and blonde wig at me and shouted, You're the wizard's mother! Go! Yes, and I was uncomfortable when you wanted to reenact the wizard's birth. I just thought it would help us be a better duo. I just want to forget you saying the phrase wizard placenta. Robin rides the wind or Batman buys some Dino. The wizard now flees, closely pursued by Batman and Robin. Through an Ansel Adams photo. Nice driving, Robin. Now that I got my breath back, I can say thanks. In the most awkward way possible. To the hunt for Red Octo- Oh, found it. Never mind. Don't ever try to find out. And that's how the wizard handles small talk. <laughs> Well, based on the landscape, I'm hoping for episode 13, Robin is eaten by the Gorn Captain. Doesn't make sense. Unlike everything I'm else in this series. Run, jete! Bat ballet attack! This guy's easier to subdue than a bag of mashed potatoes. Why were you shooting at us? I didn't know it was you, sir. I was after a prowler who broke into the house. His eyesight is oh. 2,500 and Look. he's not afraid to shoot. Have you got a good alibi for attempted burglary? Let's say I'm here on unofficial business. Let's say we go in the house and talk this thing over. Let's say we stop beginning sentences with let's say we. Sergeant, send in Barry Brown, the radio broadcaster. Will do, Commissioner Gordon, the police commissioner. Look, I make the news public. That should help you. Translation, go piss up a rope, Flatfoot. Excuse me a minute, Brown. Sure. That was Parker in our radioactive arachnid division. He'll regret it. I'll invent dubstep. Get this prescription failed at once. Yes, sir. More boner pills coming up, sir. The pungent odor of mothballs heralds the wizard! Okay, fine. I, I, I'll trust you on this. After all, you are wearing the most ridiculous thing I've ever seen. Everything is all right so far. Words right, Robin sir. will never hear We're from a psychologist. Neil calling WP number one. This is WP number one. WP stands for wizard plane, doesn't it? Yeah, I'm That's so stupid. Over. First in his class at gangster walking school. Is it? Is it? It, it is! Axe body spray, you fiend! Neil calling headquarters. Neil, his voice is like a song for my heart. Let's take over. Too late, yeah, dirtbags. Sure. Batman oh, already man, took over problem. way back in episode one. Down. Batman <laughs> takes over. Come for the Cape Crusader, stay for the repeated shots of this guy walking. Cold cocked by Robin, the comic book equivalent of getting your ass kicked by a hamster. It's Batman's pal! Who? Nightwing? No! The Huntress? No! Batmite? No! Ace the Bathound? No! Who? Well, this episode should have been called Dan Rides the Wind. If Orville Redenbacher directed Fast and Furious. Driving an ice cream truck over a cliff, the closest Robin will ever come to riding the wind. <laughs> See the thrilling answers in The Wizard's Challenge. Chapter 13 of Batman and Robin at this theater next week. His challenge? Eat a bread slice in one minute without any water. As episode 13 begins, one question is on viewers' mind. Yeah, is this the episode where Batman and Robin mash wieners? Yeah, wait, no. And if so, will it be the standard tip-to-tip -tip or lengthwise? Well, I guess it 
need more knob fiddling. Yep, Batman's riding high on one of those hemorrhoid donut pillows and a bottle of Pepto clamp tight between his thighs. Bumper sticker on the back reads, if you don't like my driving, dial 1-800-EAT-GUANO. Can the wizard get firmer buns in 30 days? Stay tuned to find out. Oh, great, we're late. No more yard sales, Neil. Robin's perfected this jump from years of Batman pushing him out of moving vehicles. There it is, it must have fallen from the truck. This is why I let my goons dress active casual. No nits, sir. I have a secret workshop. Santa? Oh, I'm Vicki Vale from Picture Magazine. I'd like to see Professor Hamill. You can't, miss. But what did oh, you I just call me? There's a little a photographer in the house. You're strong. Quick pause to let the butler get good and assaulted. Carter, are we late for croquet? I make you kiss. Moi, moi. I don't want to hear any of your apologies. Get out. Yes, sir. No, get out. Get out my wang and dip it in your cream corn. You'll be destroyed. Never mind, turn it on. Be destroyed. I have a plan for every contingency down to the last one. What, what are you doing? Oh, dear God, no, you'll kill us all! You hear me, Neil? Yeah, but I can't see you. That's because I'm invisible. The wizard, master of camouflage and condescension. Why does he talk down to me so? Never do that to his beloved Gabe. Now I can finally track down that elusive Robert Denby. Oh, good. Staring into the sun for hours on end has finally reaped its reward. <sighs> Do you think that threat should be taken seriously? <laughs> With I Batman's so. track First, record? Batman. Yes! Um, sir, I can already see you from the dirt coating your feet, and the microorganisms on your skin and hair are pretty noticeable, too. And shouldn't you be blind given your lack of retinas to absorb the light? Good luck, sir! Have you seen anything unusual around here? Not a thing, sir. Just the usual grown men in children's costumes fighting invisible wizards. Hey, Batman, you want to first check that you brought the inhaler? Don't you ever question me, Robin! Okay, rule number one on a mission, never leave Robin alone with something that shines, rolls, or beeps. And our intrepid boy wonder is taken out with a lobbed Scrabble tile rack. Watch, work, and find. Suck it, Coily. Don't fail to see Batman versus Wizard. Chapter 14 of Batman and Robin, at this theater next week. And now, kids, enjoy our feature, The Heiress, starring Olivia de Havilland and Montgomery Clift. I was sure we parked around here somewhere, Robin. Oh, I have to pee. Batmobile away! Oh, Batman, I'm not sure this is the Batmobile. The radio presets are Christian rock, the license plate says juicy, and I'm sitting on a hemorrhoid pillow. Mine has a picture of your face on it. Oh, wait, I didn't sign off on those. Yeah, it's a bootleg. I got it when I went to Bangkok. I'm surprisingly popular in certain circles over there. Please stop talking, Robin. What you are witnessing is real. The participants are not actors. They are actual litigants for a case pending. Say what you will about Spencer Bennett, the guy can direct the hell out of an empty office. He also packs the bat Febreze and the bat dryer sheets inside a bat cardboard. Ladies and gentlemen, kiss! Is this the man you were chasing? Well, it could be if he wore a cloak. Yeah, but that would also be true of right. literally anyone. That part sounds possible. And uh, none of us can tell the difference between a gunshot wound and a barbed wire cut, so we'll never know. Is there a secret entrance to this place? Well, there's the hooker hatch, I think we're on the, wrong the prostitute Whoever tunnel, came in here the whore chimney. Hello, Commissioner. I'm Barry Brown. Who? The radio announcer. Ah. Good afternoon. I'm now with Commissioner Gordon's Stop. wife. I am about to reveal the wizard's true identity. He is... Uh, oh, that is one hard to pronounce name. It might help you photograph the invisible wizard. Art might have zero effect, and I put you in great peril for no reason. Whatever. Displaying the sun tolerance of Dr. Moreau, the wizard arrives in style. Turning machines on and off, now it's Neil's time to shine. Adam West and Burt Ward in a shocking cameo? Every four-year-old in the audience is shouting, Really? What new danger confronts Vicky? Did she ever go to her brother's <laughs> funeral? <laughs> See Batman Victorious, the final chapter of Batman and Robin at this theater next week. Major spoiler alert in the title of the exciting conclusion. Well, old chum, it appears we've reached the end of our harrowing tale. 
fact, I believe our personas, backdrops, and narratives have been thoroughly exhausted. Uh, really? You don't see us encountering any new capers or foes? As dastardly as the wizard? I should say not. No. When this is over, I shall hang up my flannel cape and cowl, and then live out my days as a simple billionaire playboy. You, on the other hand, will become a ward of the state. But wait, couldn't I still fight crime as the boy wonder? <laughs> Try it and I'll sue the ill-fitting tights off you. Based on past chapter titles, I bet he ends up bloodied, shamed, and destitute. <laughs> Commissioner Gordon calls on Batman and Robin for eight. Like a little Fate. bitch. It's two o'clock. And that affects me how? And our hero's dearly killed with his back to a window after just being reminded of points of entry. I came as soon as I knew I'd be ineffective. May I see your driver's license? Yeah, sure. Always happy to oblige a fan. Tell the commissioner we found a car. Well, that we're leaving it unguarded. Yeah. Good work. Have the telephone company listening on every call from pay stations in this vicinity. It's a big job. And a clear violation of the Fourth Amendment, but okay, sounds fun, let's do it. Connecting with Neil at headquarters. Headquarters? This is the wizard. Connect me with Neil, Neil at headquarters. Why don't we go? We can't do any more than the police are doing right now. That's the vigilante spirit. How Apple wants you to see your year old iPhone. Oh yeah, this is much more discreet than simply walking to the rendezvous point. And just to be clear, he's driving a car while invisible to a place where he ordered a car to pick him up because doing so in the city would be too conspicuous. <laughs> right. Good. It'll give Robin more time. Though that could work against us. <laughs> oh god! Steering column through invisible chest! Invisible blood everywhere! <laughs> Close one! You only had the entire road! First time Robin's been allowed to use the car since Batman found a used condom and some poppers in the back seat. <laughs> Boy, I'm gonna miss this field. A lot of stupid crap involving idiots happened here. And the series ends with Robin delivering a savage, expletive-filled six-minute tire iron beating. Ooh, somebody's been reading Fifty Shades of Grey. <laughs> Parkour! 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 Ow, oh, my knee! Looks like a trap door. Just like our special dungeon at home. Savage, expletive-filled tire iron beating? You're gonna take us back to the wizard's headquarters. I can't do that. Oh, yes, you can. You know, I dig the wizard's look so much, I tried it myself the other day. Gotta say, it didn't go over so well at my niece's christening. Or, or the bank. We'll strangle you with your own guts! Alfred's stuck in your man trap. Give us your gun, he has to be put down. That's right, by Hamill. Lousy one percenter. It's my duty to take you to police headquarters. But first, I'm roughing up your butler. It's the only way I can get an erection! <laughs> there we go. The sub made a circular trip ending where it began. Huh? Kids? Batman back filling more off screen information? Huh? Hamill, huh? In a secret workshop, he entered through a panel. Oh, and he's evidently invented a miracle cure for paralysis. So, so anyway, Neil, um. Then you come? Of course. Robin's like, um, I like dinner. Barry Brown get I think he was using Brown without his knowledge. Yes, but how did he do that? Oh, okay, I guess we're yes. moving on. Pardon me, please. I'll call you later, Robin, since we're not invited to dinner. Wasn't that silly? Yes, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I blame you for my brother's death. And they all lived gabbly ever after. Roast in hell, 1940s Batman.